Uh, hey, um, okay, uh, so this is a random video for my channel, uh, because I haven't been uploading, but I just uploaded a video of Jackpot 7, uh, it's just something so that I can, uh, actually upload, because I'm actually thinking of putting up more replays of another deck, this isn't the deck that I'm going to post up, but, um, this has been a deck that I've been using for a while, and I've been actually liking it, because it's so damn good, and it makes everybody rage quit, trust me, I've played about 20 games, like, uh, I want to say, like, 30 minutes ago, yeah, 20 games in 30 minutes, uh, it's ridiculous, uh, and I couldn't really actually finish them until I hit their life points to zero, because I literally, every time I play this deck, people seem to leave. I, I, mean, I mean, I understand it's Dark Worlds, but I mean, I get to look at your hand, I get to do this, I get to do that, I get to, you know, pick cards from your hand, get rid of them, you know, it's like trap, dust shoot all over. Um, not really, but um, yeah, so basically what this deck consists of is a lot of drawing and just getting graph on the field fast as possible, which is, which isn't that hard. Um, like I said, I already said that I'm not going to be posting videos of replays of this deck because it is so hard to get a replay where I can actually hit the life point zero on my opponent because I can literally never do that. Uh, it's usually bounce, summon Grapha, bounce, summon Grapha, and then they leave. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty dumb, uh, but I do understand uh, where they're coming from because this deck is really annoying to go against. But enough of explaining of what this deck is. Uh, pretty much a dark world deck. Uh, <laughs> so basically, there's three Graphas, your boss monster. Uh, if Grapha doesn't, uh, you know, come through, uh, you still have Stardust, uh, Malefic Stardust Dragon, which is amazingly good in this deck. Uh, I cannot tell you how much this card has won me games besides this thing, because I could have this thing, another Grapha, and then this guy on the field, and, you know, yes, I've had that before. Um,. And it's it's ridiculous. Like this this deck's so dumb. Uh, <laughs> next we we're gonna play Triple Snow. Uh, she is also one of those cards that are just uh, she just searches out everything. She searches out your Grapha. She searches out base. She searches out Dark World Dealings, a Field Spell. Uh, depending on the situation that you're currently in and which hand you have, you are not always gonna go for the Field Spell. You're not always gonna go for Dark World Dealings. You're not always gonna go for Grapha. Uh, I've actually had a game where I actually went for beige instead of any other card uh, because I had terraforming this guy on the field and skill drain and I had a graph engrave so you can pretty much see what their shenanigans was happening uh, uh, I ended up drawing dark world dealing discarded beige right after I special summoned this and then bounced it back at beige uh, I think I drew some other card with I don't know what and uh, I drew into Dark World Dealings. Oh, yeah, I drew it with the Field Spell. I drew into Dark World Dealings, discarded Beige, and then he left. Uh, uh, pretty much, yeah, yeah. I had, like, two Graphas and Grave. It was pretty dumb. So, yeah, three Snow. Pretty much a really good card in this deck. Uh, next, I played two of the uh, Beige guy. Uh, I mean, I don't want to play three because uh, he just... is he, He's not part of the deck. Like, he's not what I'm supposed to be going for. Like, I don't want it draw into this, well I do want to draw into this guy, but I don't want multiple copies of him, because it's annoying um, trust me, I know what you're saying, like you're like, oh triple beige, I mean, I know uh, standard dark world players play two, uh, but beige is a really good card, don't get me wrong it, I mean, nobody plays three I mean, what am I trying to say here <laughs> what am I trying to cover up, nobody plays three beige uh, next triple uh, brow, brow is like whatever in this deck but it, it's a it's a dark world monster and then you draw off of it so it's whatever you know that's nah, actually really good um brow can be really good with uh this card uh you could like normal summon this or this and then go for this and then bounce you know it's pretty stupid i think everything in this deck is really dumb <laughs> uh next uh one you know uh lure of darkness i mean i feel like i have to play because i mean it's a Anything in here is pretty much a target, um, so why not play it, right? More draw for it. Dr more draw for me. Uh, next, the most broken card in the deck, uh, or the most broken card that's at three right now. <laughs> I still don't understand why this card's at three. This card's dumb as hell. So basically, you know, we both look at our hands, and 
we both each discard one card from our hand. So basically, this is where it comes down to summoning a monster, actually, so that when you, so that you don't want your opponent to like you know, uh, discard that monster that you need. It's like, oh, please don't discard it. Please don't discard it. I was like, just summon it. Like they won't discard it <laughs> if you don't summon it. Uh, so basically, if I have this in my hand and like some other kind of stupid dark world card that I actually want to get discarded, I actually summon this first. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, and then set like spells or traps that you have in your hand, which is going to be most of the majority of the time. Trust me. I mean, it, it it's like pretty dumb how you draw into this card and this card and you don't have targets, but uh, it's okay. Uh, I mean, you already have significant amount of draw power in this deck, so uh, it doesn't really matter what you draw into most of the time. So yeah, uh, most broken card in the the deck and a really broken card that's still at three. Uh, next, trade in. You know, your two targets are Malefic Stardust and the Dark World. Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, the Grapha. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next, another kind of trade in thing, but it's like we have to summon it. Uh, it's, yeah, pretty much you summon Grapha or this, and you get two free cards. Pretty stupid. Uh, next, I'll start Goblin, you know, pretty much to draw. <clears throat> uh, next, we play a Royal Tribute. Uh, uh, probably the most broken cards in the game right now. Uh, one of the broken cards. Okay, I'm not saying this card's busted as fuck, but it is really, really good. It's it's, it's extremely good. Um, basically, you have Necro Valley on the field. You just discard all your Dark Worlds. Hey, look, they all get their effects. It's pretty dumb, right? Yeah, it is dumb. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even matter what you have in your hand. Like, you can have, like, multiple spells and traps uh, and then still have, like, a couple of monsters and then just trade... Um, Necro Valley out of that Royal Tribute, and then you get everything's effects. So it's pretty dumb in this deck. So uh, yeah, I, you can only play one. <laughs> uh, next, I play two Terraforming. I don't want to play three because I already feel like I have this to search out for this. I mean, like I know what you're saying, like oh, you don't have to search out for this, blah blah. blah and I already said that, but I mean, what are the like? <laughs> well, what are the odds? Um, most of the majority of the time you are going to go for this, but um, it always depends on the situation. But terraforming is basically to search out Necro Valley and sometimes this, depending on the situation. Yes, I know I've said that a bunch of times, but uh, most of the time you will be going for Necro Valley. And yeah. Uh, next, triple Dark World Dealings. You know, another draw, discard. Nothing really to explain there. <laughs> uh, gates. It's it's gates, just, you know. <laughs> uh, Necker Valley, it is a really annoying card. Uh, and I I don't, I don't like going against Necker Valley. It's so dumb. <clears throat> but, um, this, this, uh, this card is really good. Uh, because, um, Graph isn't really affected by it. Uh, Beige isn't affect by, affected by it. And your opponent will pretty much, you know, rage uh, <laughs> um i actually did lose to this uh one guy he was playing uh i don't know what the fuck he was playing he was playing something weird and uh he had he was maining uh imperial iron wall and i had t two of these guys and i couldn't summon it and i had this on the field and i was like okay i got this i'm just gonna summon this and then i had like advanced draw and i was like i'm gonna try to draw into dark world dealings and this so i can pop it but a uh, little did I know, I forgot that, you know, you had to banish, and I mean, I thought it was, you know, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, but, yeah. So, yeah, still, Necrovelli is a really good card in this deck, nothing is really affected by it, so do not worry. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, next, we're going to play Eradicator Epidemic Virus, one of the most busted cards in this deck as well. Uh, no wonder it's at 1, if this card was at 3, I mean, this card was at 3. Oh my god, this was the most annoying card ever. Like, you would have two graphs on the field, and then you would just call spells and then traps, and then <laughs> it was retarded. Um, but I'm glad it's back. It's at one. I mean, this card's it's dumb as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, what it comes down to is like, you want to, like, if you know what they're playing, uh, you you basically know what to call out. And even if they wiretap this and you, like, send Graph to the graveyard, it, you still don't care because you have a Graph in the grave. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you know, 
this thing, you know, you look at their hand, all this and that, and, uh, you know, pretty much, pretty much call out whatever you want, I mean, I usually call spells, I'm that guy, <laughs> and it's too skilled right now. I don't want to play three, because if this gets MST, I don't want it to pay another thousand, but I have to, and then if this gets MST again, I don't want to pay another thousand, because that's already too many life points that I've spent on, uh, doing that so that's why i call spells on this because i don't want them to msd my skill train you know it's just uh, you know believe it or not it's actually the smartest thing to do with this instead of calling traps because uh, even if they deprison this i mean oh well i mean that sucks for you for running into deep prison <laughs> but uh the safest the actually safest and most smartest play that i can think of is calling spells with this so that this does not get msd'd at all um but yeah, uh, honestly, the extra deck, triple Stardust to, you know, summon your damn thing. We just, no way to summon Stardust in this deck. Um, one Heretic, Son of Overlord, uh, Dragon of Cock. Um, basically, <laughs> sorry, it's, I'm tired, it's, it's four in the morning. Um, basically, you know, you tribute anything in your hand. I mean, it, it gave you multiple graphs. It does not matter. Uh, this is, this card's basically you're going for game. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, double fill grand. Uh, <clears throat> when you're pushing for game, when you have two graphs on the field, which is most of the time, uh, you want to attack both of them. You know, blah blah blah. Do your shenanigans, uh, and then overlay for fill grand. They're gonna be like at three thousand life points. Uh, once once this card's on the field they can do a little amount of uh, stuff to you because Felgrand's just it, it, it's Felgrand so it's 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 way too good it's way too good in this deck to be even the thing it's a 28 beater but whatever uh, you lose your 3k and your other 3k with, with this of course um, but yeah this card's insane um, double crazy box I mean hardly ever going to go into it and it's a 3000 beater with skill drain so uh actually it's a 3300,000 beater 3300 beater with skill drain um with this cuz it is a fiend type so yep yeah. uh one may stroke I do feel like I have to play may stroke for some reason I don't know why um it has 23 defense and then 2600 defense with this oh my god yeah and it's unstoppable as it's you know, what can get over put face down. Uh triple acid golem because it's a three K beater with skill trade. Oh my god. I feel like I have to play this. I mean when? <laughs> I know there's three, but when am I ever gonna play it? Uh I, these are my only targets. I don't play uh tour guide, <clears throat> as you can see, because tour guide sucks in this deck because I play skill drain and I don't want a lot of monsters. Cause this basically is just a draw, 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 fail grand, fail grand, fail grand, fail grand, everything. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but yeah, if you play this deck you would understand why you would not play uh tour guide i mean you could try it and then fail at this deck because this deck is amazing um i mean yeah that, I, mean, that, I don't know what i'm saying <laughs> i mean yes uh tour guide is an amazing card in this deck do not get me wrong it's just in this certain deck it is horrible um so you don't want to play it uh next uh, okay then 